So we have some one to 400 scale deer. Wow. Wow. NG. Wow. Oh my goodness. I am, I'm not looking forward to this. I know. Gemini Jets. Gemini Jets, your quality control is absolute. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys are on a fantastic day today. As today, we have the seventh annual massive unboxing for you guys. Hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you guys are, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss more epic unboxings like this. There's been a lot more recently, I think like three consecutive months with at least one. And we have another awesome army of models and we do have a very special box as well from fans. So I want to thank you guys all so much for all your support uh, and everything uh, through, the, uh, through these unboxings. They tend to get a ton of views and I really enjoy doing them. So I'm not here to flex or anything or brag about how much money I'm able to spend, but I really do like showing off all the um, amazing models that I do get. So I'm excited to get some new models today. And guys, uh, a tip, just go to work, try to get some money, all, all the little money adds up, and then you'll be able to buy these. So we're gonna start with a very special box. This one, I'm going to try to hide out his address. I'm um, going back to Keys, uh, long story short, <laughs> You're gonna laugh at this, but I ended up cutting my head open with that Axco knife. I'm, we're, just, we're not gonna talk about it. I'm gonna do a separate video on it. That's a story time. But we're gonna go back to the keys. This is a special box from a, um, a good, a good uh, fan of mine. His name is Anderson Lull, and he has a channel, so I will link it, and uh, go check it out. He has some awesome stuff. Uh, he runs a couple airports here. I'm gonna try to do this off camera. Looks like he really went to town on taping up this box. My goodness. Come on. And there's some very interesting stuff in here, but one main item that he offered to me that I uh, really wanted to get because I've been trying to do something like this for a long time, or get a item like this for a long time, and this was the perfect opportunity. I'm gonna put those over to the side. There's some a lot of great models as you guys saw from the thumbnail, and hopefully there was no like bloopers in the intro for what may or may not happen. Okay, so we've made landing in the box. And apparently there's stuff in here, so let's take a look. Okay. Oh, he has it in a uh, foam, okay. So beginning with, we have a tree. Very nice. He sent me, um, I'll show you the main attraction, but he sent me a lot of stuff. So once again, huge thank you, dude. I really appreciate it. Hopefully uh, you're able to, or hopefully, um, but what am I trying to say here? I really appreciate it. So we have some main attractions in here. Um, we have, these, these are, I believe, maybe 3D printed, but I can use these for uh, potential car, or like, you know, the boxes like these. We got five of these, these are very nice. I'm excited, I'll find a way to use those. Uh, here's the other tree, so that's like two trees. We do have two trees. And there it is, there's the main attraction. Uh, he offered this to me through uh, direct message and I really wanted something like this, so I told him, yes please, if you would. A lot more stuff in the bottom. Here we have a little cardio building. I know it's not perfect, but you know what? He didn't have a use for it. He offered it and I was like, yes, please, if you would. Very nice uh, job here. I mean, it's not perfectly painted. It's a little faded, but that's perfectly fine with me. Just a little closer detail here. I'll be using this um, at uh, Albuquerque, Pensacola, Dallas, all those. So these will, this will, whoa, nice catch by myself, my bad. This will make for a nice use. <sighs> so he joked about um, he said that he sent me one to 400 skill deer. Yes, deer the animal. So we have some one to 400 skill deer. Um, those are small. It appears to be that we have um, three maybe, four, I can't, that's crazy. I will find a skit or something to use those arm, but we have the two main ones and then I think maybe one fell apart, I don't know, but that's, no, we have a little, a, a little small baby. That's awesome, thank you so much, dude. I don't know how you got your hands on that. He said he sent me 16 air stairs and he was not kidding. We have, I think he has a 3D printer, he has to. We got um, like 16 air stairs here, so I'm gonna find a way to use these. And in the bottom, we have, ooh, how about that? A handful of modern, model, modeling grass. This will be perfect. I'll be able to use this at um, Pensacola and Tulsa and all those. So that is awesome. I want to use modeling grass. I just haven't got the good opportunity to. So let's make sure that fit. Huge thank you, Anderson. I really appreciate that, man. Very thoughtful on your side. Please go check him out. He has got some great stuff. 
um, after the video, of course. Okay, now we have models, so I'm gonna put this all off to the left. The trees are gonna make a mess, but that's okay. All that 3D printed stuff and the grass. All right, next up, we will undo some of the, um, I'm not gonna go into massive detail. I bought a fourth American Airlines Airbus A319 with fence swing looks, uh, mainly for features, but uh, yeah, I decided to leave it in here so we can unbox it, so we will. This is probably the most bizarre box I've got. This is the, yes, the Swiss Colony. So I'm like, all right, very, very interesting indeed. Got it for forty-two dollars. Mainly is why I took it. Good deal. I wouldn't wouldn't mind Gemini re-releasing it um, with a IE variation. However, uh, we'll see if they do that. I do want the specials though, so may just save for that. And we have made landing somehow. There it is, the American A319. This is my fourth one. I'm literally not going to go into much detail about it. If you guys want a better view by myself, I did a unboxing of that in Kepler 190 Blueprint a while ago. So you're welcome to go check that out. But yeah, $42. And let's make sure the model's intact and everything. But yeah, I'm not gonna go too much in detail because you guys have already seen it once. And it's an age 18. I mean, it's the great mold and it's very nice. And it looks very nice. So very glad to get my hands on another American E318. This is number four now. So yeah, I would not mind taking another one. Very happy to have it. Looks very, very good. So very good job. Now everything else is interesting after that. Okay, we got we got some of the boring, I mean the first box wasn't boring, but that was, we've kind of got over that at this point. So, we have some very special boxes. I'm just trying to make sure that I know what everything is. Um, that's, okay, I know what that one is, I know what that one is. Um, okay, I think I know what everything is. So we're gonna start with this one. This is a custom, a very good custom that I'm super excited to unbox. This is a custom American Airlines Airbus E320 with IAE engines. And an Aero Classic box. Oh, no, 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 no. That, sorry, that is the wrong box. This is something completely different. That is the last thing we're unboxing. No. I am so excited about that. I am literally so happy that that was not a scam. This is the American A320. This is very special. You guys saw this on the thumbnail. That is the, that is the main show. We are not unboxing that. That was a, I, sorry. I mean, I got those boxes and they were bo both kind of similar with this design, you know, so I forgot which one came first. So, F in the chat for me, I apologize. This is the custom American A320. I knew there was something up with that box. There we go. Ah, sorry guys. I'm. Not an expert here. I'm not not a perfect guy when it comes to unboxing. We know I've unboxed tons of boxes now with all these models. All right, let's try again. There we go. All right, so this is the custom American A220. It obviously has the 2016 box, or 2017, whenever it came out. You know, the, the first one with the CFM engines. Um, I've seen this guy do customs before. He had a PSA custom I should have snagged, 319. Oh, that needs to go on the floor. But, yeah, there it is. Ooh, it looks really good. So this one's the same one pretty much that got released. However, it has went, our engines from the IAE mold. Probably what I get for buying a custom. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's okay, I mean. <laughs> It's not Gemini's fault at that time, or retailers, uh, or the shippers. It's um, It probably was legitimately not glued in, so I'm going to give that a pass. But wow, that looks really good. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's explain this one more time, so hopefully you guys understand. This is an, a custom American, oh, beautiful lighting. A custom American Airlines Airbus E320 
with IAE engines. So I'm not sure what model he took. So actually guys, I was taking a more in-depth look at this A320 and underneath the wings are the exact same because I compared it to my other A320s that I have in 2016. However, the engines, if you can see a couple little glue marks, they are super glued on. However, fantastic job to whoever did the custom on eBay. You rock for $35, this was the bomb. And it's one of my favorite models in my collection. But he took a model and he, I, he either painted it because I looked through my models and I could not find a model that this looked appropriate on. Now, if I put the 319 up to it, it's longer if you can see that. So I'm not sure, but whatever he did, fantastic. I mean, now I kind of got back in there good. Okay, well, sweet. So obviously we have the 320. I will review it because I haven't got a review on one. You have the cockpit windows, L1 door, American titles. This is the correct color. I will compare the new ones. The new ones are way too dark. And with the we have today, thank you, Oklahoma, you will be able to see the clear difference. Now these engines, perfect. Very nice job on the siding. Obviously we don't have a Wi-Fi box here. I'm not really bugged about that, but this is what models should look like. So this is obviously November 117 Uniform Whiskey. Uh, the 2016 fuselage with the CFM mold. So all he did was take off the wings and put on these. Um, the IE. So whatever he did looks really, really, really good. I'm very happy with it. So awesome job to whoever did the custom. Really like it. Um, fantastic job, and um, definitely will be buying from him again. Once again, he got it for thirty dollars, and it looks very good. I mean, the gray isn't literally perfect, but I'm not gonna. Well, I mean, if you put the 319 up to it, the 319 is even a little different color. That's a little too dark. Sorry, I guys, I can't even see the camera to an extent. I'm trying my best here. Okay, that's a little darker, but this is what it should be. This is a perfect A320 right here. Now, we're already down. Oh, we have our plane over here. Let me put that back over there. Wow, I'm so excited about that one. Okay, so let's go with the other A320s. I ordered these from Pandafox Toys. I have two of them. This is the, the new release American A320s. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the difference of what the incorrect, or what should I say here? The um, in, unrealistic AP20s look like. Now, if I get these broken, I'm flat out going, I may rage. I'm just gonna be flat out honest with you. If, it, if I get these broken, I will rage. It's a flat fragile, so that's good. Uh, Panaflex Toys has done very well in the past. I've got no broken models, but only three models from them. So, or only two models, my bad. These are three and four. So, very good deal on them though. I got $38. This was a while ago when I ordered these. Uh, we've made landing. Oh, oh, I keep messing it up. Wait, what? Did that not say Panda Fox toy? Okay, sorry, that's a call out. All right, wrong box again. I apologize. I'm very excited about that model. You guys can get a little sneak peek of it. All right, Panda Fox toy. Let's try this again. So. I don't know what it is. I guess I'm just getting too excited and not reading the names properly. But I mean, that was a similar box, so you guys can give me some credit. Okay, Panda Fox Toys American A320s have super high hopes for uh, these not being broken. Uh, I know Jim Knight Jets 13 got his broken, and uh, I, I mean, they just have some issues. JJ Skippy got his uh, with a correct gear, or I mean, the, the landing gear was gone. All right, let's try this again. So we've made landing in this box. And there's no way that this is the wrong one at this point. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. So here we have the two American A320s. Here's the box. Now the color on the box is correct. All right, but when we open the pamphlets, I'm not even gonna look open the pamphlets until I know these are not broken. So we will start with the first one. Oh my goodness, I am, I'm not looking forward to this. I know it's Panda Fox, but I'm still, gave me a little code there, thank you, and checking two American Nation 20 school. <sighs> Gemini, I, this is, hmm. all right, here we go. Looking good so far uh, for not being wings detached. Come on, Gemini. Come on. All right, yes. The first one, okay, I'm not I'm not gonna to review them yet, but that color is, <clears throat> it's pretty bad. Not here to hate on Gemini, but that is very wrong. I'm not even gonna show you guys the model till I make sure that the second one's not gonna be attached. Come on, Gemini. Oh, 
Oh boy, oh boy, please tell me it's not deattached. Jim, my jets! Dude! What do Come on! Dude! You can't be- You can't be serious! Dude! I, God dang it, dude! Panda Fox, this is not on you, I promise. Guys! <laughs> if you know it's sad when you're literally saying you hope it's not broken when you're opening the box. You open your second A320 and the wing's deattached. <laughs> God, no! Okay. Luckily, I do have super glue. No, I don't know where I put it, that's fine. I mean, uh, we'll look at it later. I okay, there it is. Ah, uh, Gemini Jets, woo! All right, guys. We can now look at the pamphlet. Why am I not doing this live? Oh my goodness, all right. Let's get a better look at the box here. Woo! Jump around! <laughs> Let me just get a picture of these two together. Is this one deattached? Dude, no way! I'm gonna break... Bro, no way! Dude. The right one was loose. It was loose, so I just broke it off. Why not? Jim and I guess your quality control is absolute. I'm sorry for bleeping that, but that's. Dude, you can't be kidding. <laughs> Let's review the box. Let me check the other ones. That one's good. So it's apparent that the right side is horrible. Alright, here we go. You got your uh, pamphlet here. You can pause the read if you wish. Get the 320 plastic tray. This was a 2019 release. 2019 release. Well, I'm glad I bought that custom. Um, we will review what we got. Okay, so here we go. There are three main issues with this model. Uh, actually four. So, uh, first off, this is flat out unacceptable. I mean, we're paying $35.96 to get, these are not Sky Marks. I'm flat out serious. I could buy Sky Marks, but I mean, Gemini Jets, as many good models as you have, both of them. I bought two. <sighs> All right, let's review it. So we're gonna review it from the side perspective because we have that ability now. Now the color honestly does not look that bad on camera. Maybe if I bring this one in, there we go. It's not as bad as it looks with the sunlight, but in dim conditions, it looks bad. And then if you, we want the 319 to compare, yeah. Okay. So you got your five good windows, your L1 door, you got the nose wheel, American titles. Now, um, we have some problems. First off, the gear mold, it's shift, or the gear in the front, it's all, all, always uh, wobbly, so that's great. You have the first antenna. The second antenna, this is my second complaint, standing straight up, so that's fantastic. My main complaint is the color's off, bad. It looks pretty garbage in my opinion. At least the engines are the correct size. I'll say that. Um, we'll get a more in-depth look at these in a moment if that's okay with you guys. The engine color is also incorrect. Uh, the uh, the Wi-Fi box is present. It looks pretty good. Not not gonna lie. I have been on this aircraft, November five six one um, Alpha Whiskey, and. Um, it was a fun flight. It was from Charlotte to Washington Reagan. If you guys want to see the trip port, it's on my channel. But um, at least that aircraft had its wings intact. Not gonna lie. Uh, you have to tell uh, the reds also. Uh, the reds okay. I mean, it doesn't look as bad as the fuselage. So I did break that second one because it, I saw it loose. But this one obviously just flat out loose. I did pull them, but I mean they were all. It was over at that point. Gemini's already took the L on that one. So. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the American A320s. Um, we'll, we will get a little in-depth view at the wing here. Um, nice detail, very nice detail, so. 
Um, yeah, um, those are just gonna be front and center. So yeah, let's put them in the back and we will move on to NG models, which is better. We have three NGs and an Aero Classics to review, but the Aero Classics thing is an exception. Oh, Gemini, give me a jump around, wow. I got my gl Gorilla gl Glue ready to go, that's fantastic. <sighs> Their quality control sucks. Fair enough, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I called it, I called it. It's not that hard, that Airbus mold sucks when it comes to attaching wings. But anyways, we're gonna try to finish, or we're gonna try to see how amazing these other models are. So the next thing we have, NG model, my favorite. And I've really wanted one, this one. Please tell me we're on the good side of uh, 20 minutes already. 20 minutes, perfect. Get the UPS Boeing 757-200. Uh, this is, I got the FedEx one, and I really wanted UPS. Now the titles are older. I don't really care. I think it looked. It's like you know. It's uh, It's just a little different. But I thought about getting the Gemini. It would have been cheaper. However, who knows if it's coming broken? Why don't we go with the best in G models, next generation? So they also followed me on Instagram today. So I am aware. I'm currently editing this uh, Wednesday night, and the NG models Instagram uh, got hacked. Hopefully, it's back by now. But uh, we'll be talking about it in the premiere and comments. So, but yes, very unfortunate. But I, hopefully, they'll still be following me when their account returns. Huge shout out NG models, you all are best compared to that. Uh, we got a, a awesome box, I really like, sorry guys, it's so bright. Uh, we got a awesome design here with the UPS in the back and all the different uh, shades of colors between the uh, gold, gray, and black. You have the side, which is, I uh, got the logos and stuff. Got the aircraft right there. Or yeah, they're generated and then some information about it. Got the back here. Um, you know, the, this is not their best design in my opinion, but you know, it's still really good. Now they got the here, which is fantastic. I have three seven five sevens, I believe, or maybe two. Thought I had three, but anyways. And there she is. Please flex on Gemini. Good job, NG. That a boy, or that a company rather. So NG models, they come intact, and wow, I am very impressed. The detail on this one is. Now, not many people on YouTube have this one because probably the delivery, that's okay. I respect decisions and the Gemini one isn't that bad. However, um, here we go. Uh, we got the cockpit windows, uh, very detailed, very nice job NG models. You got the, uh, now this is an actual freighter. This was not a converted one. So pretty uh, obvious why it doesn't have the windows like my FedEx one. We have the uh, World Services synchronizing the World of Converse uh, titles now. It's just Worldwide Services now. I think it looks cool. I mean, it's nice anyways, so I love it. Very nice job on the engines, NG. That looks super good. And the livery obviously pops um, for cargo. We got the side here. Um, and then it's November 14 or 418 UP. Uh, engines are very nice and sturdy. Uh, very nice detail here on the tail. I'm gonna see if I can turn it. You guys can see that detail on the tail. Very nice. Uh, the logo looks super good. We can turn around to the other side. It's also apparent there. You have your loaders here. Uh, very nice job. And then the bottom here. Very nice job here by NG Models. Um, the model comes intact. That's superior, in my opinion. Now, uh, I didn't give a proper underbelly look here at the American. I mean, it looks, and this kind of lighting honestly looks almost blue to me. But you know what, that's fine. I mean, the model came detached and that's fine. I mean, another thing I want to point out with the 320 that I didn't point out, um, as you can tell, it looks kind of bad. It looks like it's loose, like, or not loose, but like not fully in the socket, which maybe is why they're coming broken. Um, so yeah, but that's all right. UPS 757, NG models, fantastic job. Now the last three models I am super, 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 super excited about. This is from Easy Toys. Um, I know a lot of you guys have already reviewed and everything. This is the Southwest 737 Tide Pod, Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800, Canyon Blue, and Sun Country Airlines Boeing 737-800 Tide Pod 1. Um, so what I'm very excited about here is um, Easy Toys, huge, huge, huge thank you for sending these separates. Uh, the Her Arts got delayed and I reached out and asked if I could additionally pay to have these shipped uh, separately. They did it for free. And at least to my knowledge, they didn't charge my card at this point. So huge, huge, huge thank you, uh, Easy Toys. Love you guys. You guys are very, very good. And I really appreciate all these amazing models I've got. Now, the thing with Easy Toys as I unbox this is, I'm honestly thinking about going completely back to Easy Toys for all my models. Um, 
you know, so the big thing with Easy Toys is they have always, um, what am I trying to say here? Ever since I got the pre-order of the American 777 first release in 2013, the new livery, they've never failed me. I've loved uh, Easy Toys and they've always done a good job. Their customer service is amazing. So, but anyways, uh, suit, very big thank you for sending these out separate. I know you guys didn't have to do that. We have a packing receipt on the top, which claims uh, the models. They had to do a separate listing for them, which is fine. As we get into the paper here, they are wrapped up, which is awesome. And we have made landing. Hopefully you guys can kind of see. Sorry, it's so bright now that in the first here. I can't really ever see anything. I'm very excited to open this box. It's been sitting up here for like a week now. Um, let's put those in their respective positions, if that's all right, guys. Bang up job by Gemini. I'm just gonna say that now. More NG models. First off, these two boxes. Let's just, mm. Very, very, very good job, NG models, with these two boxes. These two are amazing. Um, this one I'm super hyped for, so I think I'm gonna start here with the Sun Country. Okay, so you got the front. Uh, I love that uh, design there. Very, very nice. Looks good. This November E30 SY. You got the side here, and this just this box pops. Honestly, I got the last one. Obviously, I I didn't get it uh, immediately, but I did immediately pre-order this one because I think it already sold out with the Southwest. So let's go. Wow, wow, that looks wow. Those colors. Good job, NG. Proud of you guys. I mean, Jim and I, I'm not here to call out, but I mean, it's obvious that quality control is not more difficult, not just insanely difficult if NG Models is out here doing it. And plus, they did it for the longest time, and, or uh, Jim and I did it with no problems. Wow. Sorry it's in the shade. Let me get my camera zoomed in here. Actually, let me lower my camera if I can figure it out. There we go. First off, these colors, NG Models, nailed it. Wow. You have the, um, this mold, by the way, the one without split scimitars. I know the one with splits has a couple of issues, but man, this one is amazing. I should have bought more, wow. Okay, so you have the orange with the new Sun Country titles. Flat out perfect, NG, you nailed it. Very, very good job. Uh, rolling through here, very nice detail here in the cockpit windows and the nose wheel, that's awesome. They don't swivel or anything on this mold, perfect. Um, you have your engines here, which look super, super good. The wings are very detailed. Um, so scrolling through here, you have your uh, escape door, the emergency doors, and then I love how detailed the tail is. Wow, what, what's, all right, sorry, I'm kind of back a little. The engine looks super good, like I said, wing detail. You even have your little Sun Country patch on the winglet. And then uh, November 83Y uh, Sierra Whiskey, or Sierra Romeo, whatever Y is. Uh, and then you have the Boeing 737-800 titles. Just love how this thing pops. Uh, the, another awesome touch is the windows have the silver, if you guys can kind of see that around it. So it pops really well in real life by the sun. So fantastic job, NG. This tell detail is unreal. Wow. NG models. This is flat out amazing. This is a beautiful model. Underbelly, we have the um, orange, obviously, which that's a great color, orange. Uh, you have your little, your two antennas on this mold, super, super good. And then, wow, look at that. Super good, wow. Um, nothing on this model's broke, no loose uh, pieces. Uh, landing gear roll very f fluidly. And NG models. This may be model of the year behind the Canyon Blue. I am, I love this one. Very, very good job, NG models. Flat out superior. This is beautiful. If you have not picked up this model and you want it, get it now because it is going to go. This thing is amazing. I love it. I really should have bought another one. So NG models, superior. This is by far a 10 out of 10. I mean, there is not an issue with this model. Flat out serious. This is the most legitimate I've been since Psycho Ape Geek 1. This is amazing. NG models, I'm very proud of you. Uh, thank you guys so much for the follow once again. We're not quite done with NG models, obviously, uh, for this review, but flat out amazing. NG, you have uh, my heart on that one. Very good job on Sun Country Tide Pod 1. Uh, one of the best models you guys have put together yet. But there's an even better model. Or, I mean, livery-wise and like sentimental to a lot of you guys. The Southwest 737-800 Canyon Blue. Boeing 737-800 title, Southwest. Love that box design. I don't know who came up with it, but whoever did, 
spot on. You got even southwest.com. It's just so, Indie Models just has such a creative touch when it comes to these boxes. It's crazy. Instead of having just the generic stuff. Uh, you got the NG model logo, obviously you have the side here. Uh, really nice silver design, that is very, very nice. Um, there, and then uh, your back, obviously. So the Southwest, let's unbox the Southwest. So as we go into the, wow, wow. Dude. Dude. I'm, you, I know I got tears dropping out. I'm not even being sarcastic. This is, Jim, oh, NG, wow. We will set you down. Why did I not buy two? Wow. The hype is real. Jim not Jets, you better get it together, man. Jim not done, guys. Guys, this is not gonna come out on camera like it does in real life. May well, I mean, it does look super good. Wow. Cockpit windows, I know it's a little tall, but that's, no, I don't care. The color is amazing. Wow. Unbelievable. So good. Really good job, NG. That is, guys, I'm having a hard time talking. That is ridiculously good. Uh, you got your engines here, which look very, very good. I love the stripe. Very nice job. Um, on the box art, I know it's uh, kind of present that they um, went a little back. Uh, let me back it up. That they went like on the way to the back. That is not an issue on the model. So very good job, NG. Um, that's a little, just a little thing. I'm not too worried about it. As long as the model's correct. The box, I don't, honestly, the box is not like the star to show, you know. But the touch, the effort, the appreciation, just, man. This is November 8620 uh, Bravo. Uh, wing detail, superior. Sorry guys, I'm trying to see so I can show you guys everything. You got your spoilers and amazing wing tail, detail as well. You got your southwest.com winglets, which look very nice. Um, it's kind of hard to get all that wording on there, so you guys did a very nice job of doing so. Beautiful colors, beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Then you got the southwest tail, and then on the undercarriage here, very nice job. That red is very vibrant. Uh, oh, sorry guys. And then uh, orange, very good. Okay guys, so just a little realization moment here. Would you rather buy these two beauties or that crap? This is flat out simple. NG is going, it's taking over and there's really no um, argument with that at this point. NG is flat out the best company. I don't think that that's an argument anymore, especially their, their uh, social media program. Instagram, um, I'm gonna flash the screen on the picture right now. I'm gonna address it next week, but that's what you get from uh, Gemini Jets is, um, Gemini Jets is, uh, Gemini Jets is social media. Now, if you, now uh, even positive, I know that's a little better, but I mean, yeah, I'm, I don't think NG Models would say that to a complaint, but there is no complaint. So that's the great thing because these are amazing. I am, so impressed in G models. That is superior. I'm so proud of you guys. And I'm so excited to get the May releases. I just haven't decided which ones I want to do yet. And the grand finale. So I was scrolling through eBay and I saw this and I immediately freaked out. I was in voice chat on Discord and I immediately knew that I would I put a hundred dollar bid on it. So I'm gonna talk about the story. Okay, so the new word around the campfire is that this aircraft is going to be a part of the Aero Classics May releases now uh, from talking to a couple guys. So uh, disregard everything I say about it being a one-time deal and stuff. I just, uh, some of the eBay retailers and guys get them early as like uh, just a little addition. So I just bought mine from one of the guys that got it early. So it should be coming down in the next couple days if it isn't already announced at this point. So everybody, before you start freaking out, the Delta A321 thank you livery has been made by Aero Classics. Apparently, I talked to the retailer that posted it. I initially thought it was a custom. However, apparently, Aero Classics released a limited edition, very small quantity batch of this particular model. Uh, so he claimed that he got in stock. He claimed this is the last one and he claimed since I, I asked him if he had any to outright buy and he said since I was so nice He would sell me this one for $56. So that eBay user, I'll try to put it on the screen. Huge, huge, huge 
thank you to you. You are so, so nice. And I really, really appreciate the very kind gesture here because this is so, this is gonna be a super hard one to find if nobody else does it, which I will get if NG or Gemini does it, but regardless, uh, this is November 9th, uh, 391. And this is the first time I've seen it on YouTube to this point as of recording. It's Tuesday night, this is coming out Friday, so. But, guys, let's do it. I am so excited, and um, I'm usually not this hyped up for Aero Classic stuff, but this is, now if this gets re-released, which it probably will, I'm the hype will obviously no longer be present, but at least I can say for the time being, I'm the only person that has it, and it looks super good. So let's do it. Um, have a little Dylan here. Hmm, okay. I will work, I will look at that later. Here it is. Oh, yes. Wow. Very good. And Aero Classics can do their quantity control too. Wow. That red pops. Man, besides our two American A320s, this has been one of the best massive boxes I've ever done. Dang. Aero Classics. Um, wow. Very good. Delta A321, thank you, Liberty. Also, very quick shipping by that user. Guys, I'm, I feel like I'm in a dream right now. This is crazy. You have your uh, amazing titles here in the cockpit windows, but the best employees in the world, I, here, I'll try to read it out loud. The world's best employees and customers dedicated to, and yes, this is very dedicated. Um, you got the Delta titles, the huge thank you titles, which that red is very vibrant. Obviously, the red's not as vibrant on the tail, but that's fine, I mean, it's super good. Uh, the engine's very nice. Uh, this is a good mold, honestly. I really like it. I mean, it's not detailed, obviously, but still. November 931 Delta November. Um, and then the sharklets are on point. Um, very good. Wow, even the Delta underbelly uh, titles are there. So good job, Aero Classics, for uh, finally catching up. If you don't have the molds to do it, well, at least you can uh, start adding stuff that is uh, doable. So they got the Delta underbelly titles. You got the sample, obviously. Good, uh, obviously not detail, not the most detail on the wings, but that's okay. I mean, getting some variety, I guess is fine. But man, very good, wow. And then you got the, the uh, luggage loaders and uh, the engines, which I believe are CFMs, but I may be incorrect on that. But what unboxing, guys, what a unboxing. Wow. Uh, I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bells if you, uh, would at least consider it. I would really appreciate it. Obviously, I'm not forcing you to do any of that, but if you really uh, want to see some awesome con, I think some really good content in the modeling and uh, real and other aviation topics, then this is the place for you. Uh, definitely uh, come by. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. This was crazy, and I am very, very happy to say that I have this amazing guy right here. Very, very nice job, and I absolutely love it. So I really want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm not here to rant about Gemini once again, but I'm just flat out not very impressed. I mean, it's really tough. It's really tough. So, um, but very good job by NG Models, the three of those that I got today, and Aero Classics. So Phoenix is going to be ready to go. I'm going to do some super gluing, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a fantastic day. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep saving up, buying your models, and doing what you're doing. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys watching these videos, and I'll see you guys on Monday, or actually the weekend for, for screen. So I'll see you guys back with actual videos on Monday. As Radio Radiation is signing off.